it is August favorites time already. <clears throat> I say that every time because it's so amazing how fast months go. But anyway, here are my favorites for August. First thing you have not seen on me before. Um, I have been wearing these. They are the key. They're the high key black fade um, sunnies. And I, they're very similar to the, to the shades that I have been wearing for like the last two years. My Michael Kors, which I absolutely love. But these are, of course, are bigger. Um, they just seem to, I like the fade on them. Um, I think they might be a little big for me, but I have still been loving them and wearing them anyway. I just think that they're kind of cool. And I love the fade on them. I think they look really neat. So yeah, I've been wearing these like crazy all month long and enjoying every second of them. So yeah, really like these. Also, I recently got a sample of an Hermes perfume, and I'm not going to be able to pronounce this worth anything, but it's the Eau, <clears throat> the Eau de Merveille. Yeah. So anyway, during the Sephora sale, I just purchased a full bottle, and I love it. It's, I think this is actually going to be perfect, especially this time of year going into fall. It kind of has a, uh, a woody, uh, kind of a woody, I wonder, what do I want to say? I don't know, it seems kind of unisex to me. I don't know what they consider it to be, but to me it seems a little unisex. It's just, it's bright, it's kind of crisp, but it has a bit of a musky wood scent to it also. Um, I don't know, for me this is just kind of fresh and woodsy, um, but I like it a lot. So anyway, I'm excited to have a new bottle of this because I used up that sample like crazy all month long. So yeah, very happy about this. Love it. It's cute how the bottle sits sideways too sit on the counter like this. <laughs> it's the little things that matter. This item is not new to anyone, I'm sure, if you've watched me at all, but I have worn these things to the end of the planet and back. I love them. They are the most comfortable shoe for any kind of a dressier, heelish kind of a sandaly shoe that I've ever put on my foot in my life, and that is the Charleston's. The Charleston Shoe Company, this is the, I can't remember, I'll put it right here. Med, med? I think it's called the Med. Anyway, it's this material. It comes in many colors, but I love these because it just goes with everything. I'm a nude shoe person. Um, it's this stretchy, stretchy fabric. If you've ever had one of those ace bandages that you sort of wrap and then you have that little clippy thing, it reminds me so much of that. I know that sounds silly, but it's soft. It's stretchy everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. They even call them bunion friendly. Um, it just molds directly to your foot perfectly. It doesn't pull or cut or, you know, anything at all. It just fits like it is made for your shoe, like someone just tied soft cloth around your foot to keep the shoe on or something. You can wash these. You can just hand wash them in the sink, dry them. <clears throat> Perfect. They're so, they're cushy. They have a little bit of cush to them. And because of this platform, the heel only feels like it's about an inch and a half. So you feel like you're almost wearing a flat, though you're wearing a heel. They just look, they're just cute. I love them. They come in every color, not every color under the sun, but a lot of colors. And I've worn the heck out of them and they don't even really look at it all. They just, they have done so well. So I'm loving these. I can't say enough about them. Um, these will be going on with me on every vacation I have. Um, from here to the end of time probably because they're just perfect and they're so comfortable. Another item that you might already know that I purchased recently is this Gucci Ophidia. I assume that's how that's pronounced. It's the mini. It's the Supreme Mini. I have uh, been really enjoying this this month. It has, it's one of these bags and I did a video, a couple videos about my unboxing or whatever of it and then also one of what fits in it. So look for those if you're interested in what exactly fits in this bag. And it does fit more than you would probably think because it is pretty small. Um, for example, here's an iPhone 8. Okay, so you get an idea. It does fit in there by the way. Um, but in general, I like to carry more with me on the daily, just running around and so forth. But this is a great errands bag if you can downsize into just these small amount of things. But I tend to want to carry hand lotion and, you know, a different choice of lip color. Or, you know, I just tend to usually want a little bit more. So for my normal, what I like in an everyday bag, this isn't quite big enough. But I have found that this is absolutely perfect for those times where I'm like, let's say I'm running to yoga and I need my little key thing to get in there. I need my car keys. 
Um, I need a chapstick because I can't live with my life without a chapstick with me. And then after yoga, I'm gonna run to the to Costco. So I need my Costco card. You know, I need a few more things. I will grab this and it fits in my yoga cubby where my shoes and so forth fit beautifully so I don't have to try to cram a larger bag in there. So it's just easy to keep. I keep this in my kitchen near the door where I leave for, um, you know, to go places. So when I do want to just quickly downsize into it, I just opens right up, throw my things in, the few things I need, and I go. And then when I'm done, I can just put it back in the little drawer thing in my kitchen. So it's kind of a perfect bag to just sort of have there on the ready for when I want to grab it and go and be kind of hands-free and I want a smaller bag. Um, this is also going to go with me to Hawaii in about a week or so. I'm very excited to have this with me too. It's pretty all weathery, you know, you don't have to worry about it getting splashed or whatever um, if I'm out and about and sightseeing and, and so forth. So I think this will be a perfect bag for that too. So I'm really loving it. I just think it's a gorgeous little, little lady. Um, I have the bigger one from the vintage line. It's a little bit different. I am planning on showing that soon, but yeah, loving this little guy right now. The lip colors that I have been absolutely loving lately and wearing nonstop, it's a combination of the MAC Subculture Lip Liner, I have it on right now, and the Tom Ford Pink Dusk. Just wearing this thing to pieces, loving every second of it. It's just a perfect nude. It's, it's called Pink Dusk, but it's not too pink. It's not too um, coral or not too brown. It's just this perfect, perfect shade. I absolutely love it. This formula is amazing too. These lip colors, you know, the Tom Ford lipsticks are not inexpensive. They are a hefty penny for a lipstick. However, when you have a color like this and you love it that much, it, for me personally, it's worth it. So when I add it with the subculture liner, can you see that at all? <laughs> they just work perfectly together. love those two and they make your lips just the, the color stay on forever and ever and ever it's smooth glidey love it so that's been a huge favorite and then this sort of technique sort of thing that i've been doing lately and i've been doing it a lot this month i'd say probably every single time i put lipstick on there's an airplane this i brought this one out because this is my darker colored one that works really well for this kind of technique and i love this color this is by mac it's called half red and what i've been doing and it's really made a difference i think in just how my lips have looked a lot of times i just put that other on and i have nothing out here to wipe it off with but in general the plan is as you know i like to do that just bottom bit of you know line just that bottom bit of my lip it really makes your bottom lip look fuller and then a little bit around the cupid's bow but what i've been doing with a darker shade especially is when my lips are bare if i just line my lips let me just pretend this is my lips okay if i just line my lip and then i just kind of take my finger and sp spread upward you know and take that upward like that with my finger so that you still have a bit of a definition here but you've let's see if i can do this i'm just using the viewfinder <laughs> here so you go like this, it's darker under there, and you just kind of take your finger and go, all right. So you've like spread it a little bit, it's almost like a sunburst. You know, it's still the darker line, but it still kind of just radiates out into the lip itself without getting all the way to the middle. It, if you do that around this part here and this bottom part, and it just adds that extra color darkness around your lips, and it just really makes your lips pop and I've been loving that a lot. I'll try to do a better demonstration sometime, but this color in particular has been working really well for that. And because it's a little bit darker than what I'm wearing now, I think it'll be perfect for going into the fall. So yeah, really enjoying that one. A pair of jeans that I got, I thought I would give them a try during the Nordstrom anniversary sale. I got two pairs of them. They are by Wit and Wisdom. I've never tried them before. And they're called Absolution. This is what the tag looks like. Absolution, like a solution for your abs, I guess. Um, they're the ankle skimmers is what they're called. And they're supposed to have slimming panels constructed to mold and hold and boost your assets your assets. Um, anyway, I was worried that they would feel like a girdle, you know what I mean? And I didn't want that or need that in my life, really. Um, you know, it is what it is, and I don't want to be uncomfortable. So I was concerned. However, I'm really enjoying these. They just have enough of a little bit of a stretchy panel thing right here at the top and all the way around, actually, of this part. And then in the front bit, they just have a little bit of an extra paneling right there. But it's not it's it's light it's not you know suck you in or you know it's 
They're not at all painful or uncomfortable. They're very stretchy. Even in the, uh, the denim itself is, is, has a light stretch to it. Um, look at that, it just, they're so comfortable. They almost feel like you're wearing leggings. I'm serious, they are so, so, so comfortable and cute. This pair is my darker ones. They have a little bit of the whiskering, but in general, it's a very uh, dark uh, blue. I like that the pockets don't have a lot of detail. I kind of like that idea on them too. That's your basic five pocket, you know, kind of a style. Really enjoying them. I also got them in a more distressed kind of a denim too. Very happy with them. I'd say they fit true to size and I'm enjoying them very much. Being the ankle length, that works kind of perfect for me because I can use them with, um, you know, like flats and sandals in the summer and then in the fall more into the loafers and that kind of thing. And then in the winter, if I'm wearing either booties, that works, or actual like boots to the knee or something or even a little higher on the ankle, they just, you know, goes right under there. So it's a perfect perfect length for me. I'm five foot five, so there's that. And then last but not least, <laughs> quick backstory. I have platypus feet. Um, I'm telling you, I talk about my feet so much. I'm so sorry, but shoes are hugely important to me. I mean, I can't stand being uncomfortable with my feet uncomfortable, but yet I still like a good looking shoe. So anyway, um, I will constantly be talking about things to make my feet more comfortable in the shoes that I love. And I have what I call platypus feet, meaning that my heel is very narrow, but they tend to go pretty wide out toward the toes. So that's what I call them and that's what they are. I have so many troubles with um, pumps because if they're wide enough in the front to fit my toe box area, you know, to fit that area comfortably, then they slip off my heel. And I've tried those heel grips, I've tried everything, and yes, they help, they're okay. If, you know, sometimes it works well, sometimes it doesn't. So I thought I would give this a try and I'm liking it, it's really made a difference. These stretchers, they're the neatest things ever. The foot stretchy thing, I want it to make it wider here. So as you can see, this goes, you know, further out. And the more you crank it clockwise, the more it pulls outward. So you can really, really get a good stretch going on, on this part of the foot. It's not doing anything to the length at this, this direction. When you turn the crank this way, it opens this up. If you turn the crank the other way, it stretches it lengthwise. And you get all these instructions with this. They're not, they're not expensive. I got these on Amazon. I will link it below. Um, and they're making a difference. They're really making my shoes much more comfortable. These are, this is a pair of coach leather shoes that I have. They're patent leather and it's just real tight across here for me. Um, they fit fine, but then after being in them for you know, standing for 20 minutes, holy cow, it really starts to hurt. Especially if I want to add any kind of a cushion, like a gel cushion down here in the bottom of it, um, just for, you know, for cushion for to help make it more comfortable, then that puts your foot up even higher, which makes this even more tight. So this has helped immensely. Highly recommend these, and they're kind of cute. They also come with these little bumpy things that you can add to the end, the sides, if you have like a bunion that you want to stretch up just a little bit of a certain area. For any of you ladies who are wearing heels to work, highly recommend doing something like this. It's been making a difference. So those are my August favorites. These are the things I've been loving and I hope that you have had a really great month too. And tomorrow starts September. Can you believe it? I'll see you guys soon. Thanks so much for joining me. Bye.